Okay, hi and welcome to another Ben Golden Guitar Masterclass. Today we're going to have a look at a classic, classic bit of 80s pop music for you with the wonderful Little Respect by Erasure um, and of course covered by some great, great acts but a great song, A Little Respect by Erasure. Okay, in this one we're going to do a very, very straightforward chord tutorial, you know, basic strumming patterns, acoustic guitar. Um, it's exactly the same key as the Erasure version, so this will fit in if you strum along to the Erasure version this will fit in. Okay, without further ado, let's get on and get cracking with this one. Okay, we're going to use, there's a few fairly straightforward chords, so shouldn't have too many problems, I and mean, we're going to do a very basic strumming pattern, so it should be okay, even if you're starting out a little bit intermediate, it should be okay. Um, and obviously, if you are a little bit better, you can maybe try a few more slightly elaborate strumming patterns, but we're going to keep it fairly straightforward. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off with, and of course, if you already know these chords, you might want to speed up the video a little bit and just get onto the chord sequence. Um, but if you're starting out here, we're going to go through the chords first, so take your time, get used to them and make sure you know all these chords. We've got a C, a G, we've got an F, we've got an A minor, we've got an E minor, there's also an E major, and at one point in the song we have to use a B flat as well. Okay, so let's just start off with the C major. Okay, for this one we've got our first finger on the second string in the first fret, the next finger goes on the fourth string in the second fret, and the next finger goes on the fifth string in the third fret. And with this one, you're trying to avoid hitting the top string, the bass E, you're just hitting five strings. Okay, next chord is a G. For this one, we have our first finger on the fifth string in the second fret. The next finger goes on the 6th string, right at the top in the 3rd fret, and then the next finger, a bit of a stretch, it goes all the way down to the bottom, the top E, down there, in the 3rd fret. And with this one, we're hitting all 6 strings, that's a G. Okay, next let's have a look at an F. This is generally, people tend to find this a little bit harder, so you might have practiced this a little bit. For the F, we've got our first finger is going to try to cover two strings, the two strings at the bottom, the first and second strings in the first fret. Then the next finger goes on to the third string in the second fret, and the next finger goes on to the fourth string in the third fret. And with this one, we're just trying to hit four strings. We're trying to miss the two two strings at the top here, the E and the A, six and the fifth strings, and just hit the four below that. Okay, next we want to try an A minor. For the A minor, we've got our first finger in the second string in the first fret. Our next finger goes on the fourth string in the second fret, and the next finger goes on the third string in the second fret. Okay, that's the second string in the first fret, the fourth string in the second fret, and the third string in the second fret. And with this one, we're aiming to hit five strings, just trying to avoid the one at the top, the bass E, the sixth string, hit the other five. Okay, next up, a little bit of an easier one, we've got an E minor. For the E minor, we just do the fifth string in the second fret, and we do the fourth string in the second fret, and this is all the strings. Okay, and let, to make that into an E major, all you have to do is add the first finger on the fourth of third string, sorry, third string in the first fret. So for the E major, it's just the first finger goes in the third string first fret, and then we've got the fifth string second fret, and the fourth string second fret. And E major, just like the E minor, is all six strings. Okay? Okay, so after that, we just, I did warn you about the B flat. For the B flat, we need to use the first finger on the first fret, first string. And then there's nothing in the second fret, but on the third fret, we're trying to hold down the fourth string on the third fret. Then it's the third string on the third fret. And then it's the second string on the third fret. Okay, so that's first finger in the first string, first fret miss out the second fret, and then you've got the fourth string in the third fret, you've got the third string in the third fret, and then you've got the second string in the third fret. And again, for B flat, we're trying not to hit the two strings at the top, it's just the bottom four. And there's your B flat. Okay? Okay, so we now have the C, the G, the F, the 
A minor, the E minor, the E major, and that B flat as well. Okay, so let's crack on with the, um, the song, the order of the chords and everything. And like I said, if you are starting out, feel free to spend a bit of time. There's quite a few chords there, so you do want to get used to them. It'll make it a lot easier in the long run, but make sure you're okay with all those chords. Okay, so to start off with this song, the first section, we've got C, G, E major, and F. And this is quite nice, easy strumming on this one. We're just going to do eight counts for each chord. And you'll have to excuse the singing, but I'll hum it in the background so you kind of know which part of the song this is and how all the chords sit with the melody of the song, okay? So we've got this little C chord to start us off, and we're going to try and get to this, okay? Da, 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 da. C, da, 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 da. to G. Da, da, da. E major to F Okay, so let's just try that again. So I'm gonna start off with a C. I try to discover with a C and then it's next to G E major So that's all it is, C, G, E major, and then F, eight strums on each chord. So one more time, da, 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 two, three, four, C, da, 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 G, da, 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 to E, da, da, to F, la, 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 ha, ha. Okay, that's your first section. The next bit we've got da, 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 C two three four C two da, 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 G two three four G two da, 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 F da, 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 A minor da, da, and G da, 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 G da, 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 da. Okay, so that was just going C. G, then F, A minor, and then G, and so on, okay? So let's just try that bit again, okay? We've got C, to G, and F, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, notice with this one though we have got eight on the uh, eight counts on the C eight counts on the G but then it's just four on the A minor uh, sorry four on the F and then four on the A minor and then we're back onto the A two on the G okay so we've got three four C So you will see the chords coming up on the screen, but what we want to do now is keep it nice and slow. But let's go from the uh, the beginning section, okay? Just those two bits we've got now before we do the third bit. So coming on with the C first. I try to discover two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, two, two, E major, one, two, three, four. Should we just do, if we just do one more nice slow um, attempt at getting those two sections together and then we'll have a look at the third bit. So from that C, la da 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 two, four, C, la 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 G, two, three, four, G, two, E major, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, F, and da da C, 
Okay, so let's just have a look at the third bit now. Okay, so we do go back to the C to start again, and you've got so la la a minor, oh baby F, la 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 e minor, F and G and C. Okay, so let's just try that bit again, this third bit, and then we'll put everything together. So we've got C, so to A minor, la, 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 baby, F, da, 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 A minor, oh sorry, E minor. Okay, so like I said, you will get all the chords coming up, but let's just take it very, very slowly and we'll try and whiz through and just get those three sections one after the other. Okay, so starting from the beginning section we, we went through, we've got C first. La la da discover. One more time through everything. Okay, so I'm going to start with the beginning section with that C major. I try to discover C two three four G two three four G. Oh baby, we're free major. And then to F la 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 la. Next bit and back to C two three. So that is pretty much all of the song, but you'll notice there's kind of an instrumental interlude, a bit of a break midway through the song. Okay, and all we do for that one, that is, yeah, you guessed it, that's where the B flat comes in. Okay, and it just comes in after that C, you'll get through that last little um, E minor. F and G and C. Da 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 B flat. Da 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 G. back into the rest of the song okay so like all you need to do for that one and the B flat is a little bit awkward so don't be um, don't beat yourself up about it you may need to practice that a few times but effectively all that bit is is eight on the B flat and then eight on the G and then it goes back into the uh, I'm so in love with you section of the song Okay, so let's just try it again. B flat for eight counts and then G for eight counts. Then we'll try and put the whole lot together. Okay, so B flat, get ready with that one. Um, one, two, three, four, one. Da, 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 G, two, three. I'm so in love, back in there. Okay.
Okay, one more time, just to try and get it as good as you can. Okay, so that is B flat for eight counts, and then G for eight counts. One, two, three, four, B flat, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G. I'm so in love with you, then it comes in again. Okay, so what we'll try and do then, just to get one time going through everything and how the uh, the B flat part, the instrumental part, comes in as well. If we try and do one lot of the uh, the three bits of chord section that we originally did at the beginning of this tutorial, then the B flat bit, and then try and get back into the song again. And like I said, for the Eurasia version, this one will fit in perfectly with the song. Okay, so let's just try and do this along together. So we've got C first. Okay. I try to discover C two three and then a G two three four G E major one two three four one two three and F two three four F da 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 do next bit and then to a G two three four G and then F a minor now da 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 G and da 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 C and then a minor oh baby F da 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 E minor F and G and C to B flat da 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 Okay, so that is all the sections of the Erasure version of A Little Respect, a classic tune. But like I said, there's some really great covers. Um, I think there have been some done that are in exactly the same key. But the Erasure version, that will fit in perfectly with that one. It's in exactly the same key. Classic bit of 80s for you. Um, it's a great one. I've run a lot of open mics. And this is quite popular. People do love this song, especially on an acoustic version. Bit of a singer-song number. So enjoy, practice it. It'll be perfect. All the best and I'll see you next time for more great guitar tutorials. Thanks.